Hi everybody. Very good evening. I'm very excited about this particular session that we have an amazing guest over here and I welcome you all uh to figure out your time in this particular webinar on Saturday. I'm sure that uh, your friends are also joining in. But before I start guys, I want to thank you again for joining over here. And I want to just check uh, my audio and video with you all if you guys can see me or hear me well. Just give me a thumbs up in the chat section so that I can get an idea and I can proceed ahead. And, uh, you know, we can start this particular session. Very good evening. So, guys, can you hear me well? Can you see me well? Just give me a thumbs up. Yes. All right. So, yeah, that's great. That's great. So very good evening, guys. Uh, my name is Amir Akhtar and we are doing this particular webinar to help you understand that how you can also become a data analyst, which is a high paying profession, even if you are from a non IT background, how you can do it. So we're going to have, uh, you know, a lot more you know, questions and a lot more discussions. Even I have some personal experiences because I've held too many peoples. So we'll be discussing each and everything in front of you. And for sure, we're going to have each and every doubts get clear over this particular session. So I'm going to make sure that I will make this session, uh, uh, you know, the most valuable one for you all. So stay tuned till the end. And I have some surprises as well uh, in this particular webinar for you all who have joined in and who will be staying till the end. All right, guys. So as I can see, the audience are interacting with me. I'm, I'm, I'm really, very really happy to see that the audience are quite very energetic now and excited about it. So I just wanted to know from you all that from which city you guys are in and uh, how old you are so that I can understand that what sort of a demographics people have, are there in our webinar so that accordingly I will be deriving the webinar in such way so that everybody can make the most of it. So may I know that from which city you guys are in and from like how old you are so that I can have a better understanding. So Krishna is from Bangalore 23, Nelson is from Chen Chennai 33, Anshul Agra 25, Prayagraj, Praveen Kohli, Bhopal 27, 25, 34. So I can easily... <clears throat> All right. So I can see that the people are from 24 to 34 are max and the people are from all over India. I'm really, very really excited. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for responding. All right. So let's do it, guys. And I'll be uh, going to start this particular webinar. And I want to inform you all that we have an amazing surprise at the end of this particular webinar. And for sure, I just don't want you all to miss it. So I would request you that if your friends are going to come, do share the link to them as well and make it their weekend the most valuable weekend. <laughs> And uh, if if and share with your social media as well, so that you know we can help maximum people to grow in their life. All right, so let's start with my introduction, guys. My name is Amir Akhtar, and I'm a career consultant. I'll help more than 200 plus people to find a job in a data analytics. And I have total five years of experience in ethics, and uh, we will be telling you exactly like how you can switch into the uh, IT career, and you know how you can, uh, you know, get easy transition uh, in spite of having a lot of challenges uh, in terms of your current job profile, salaries, or uh, like, you know, zero technical knowledge. Just because I have uh, consulted more than 200 people, so I exactly know what sort of hesitations, problems, or challenges a person do face. So we will be uh, dealing with everything. We will be discussing everything so that you can rate yourself with it. Here's my LinkedIn link in the chat section. You can also connect with me personally. If you have some doubt and want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm always available. So here I'm sure that the cases that we, I will be discussing and sharing with you for sure going to match with your problem as well. So let's make this session the most valuable session for you all. All right. And we will be uh, discussing each and every questions that you have because, uh, and generally, when I was also into this particular career transition and I always wanted to grow, then rather than discussing with the friends, I always used to do attend a lot of webinars. It gives us a pretty good clarity to me that, you know, what exactly the industrial experts are thinking 
and what they, they are observing and once i get their words then i get an idea that yes it is possible or not and how how much it is like you know uh, easy or tough or is it a uh, right fit for me or not so everything we're going to discuss over here all right so i just wanted to tell you guys this particular master class we are conducting in the support of our data analyst course from coding in wages all right so this is one of the most popular programs that we have which doesn't require a coding background because uh, 10 years back thinking about the it field without coding was something was not making sense but nowadays people from uh, non it are achieving big in uh, it professions that is big that's a big thing and we are doing quite great in that with the placement record of 93% so we're going to discuss more about this but before i move on i want to tell you a uh, more detailed information about the coding invaders so we are on the mission to transform the basic people like from the non it profession people into high paying it people with at least package of 5 lakh but the maximum is more than 36 lakhs as well all right so if you want to check more information about the coding invaders you can check, click the link in the chat section which is mentioned codinginvaders.com if i'll talk about the current statistics then we have more than 22000 learners who have passed out more than uh, you know 90% of the employment rate we have average hike is 30 to 400% and already 40 plus you know countries learner base we have and the best part is 100 plus companies train their employees with us because we have a huge network in the in the companies and that's why our employment rate is higher because uh, we train candidate from scratch we help them with a the multiple project and then we place them Uh, with the help of our network because if i will schedule your 10 interviews for sure you will crack one at least right so that makes sense that's why our placement record is high because we have a huge networks in india as well as at international as well moving ahead this is about the coding invaders now let's get to understand exactly uh, what intention you have so there's a three options on the screen guys and uh, just wanted to know what is the main purpose you attended this webinar like are you did you attend this webinar just to uh, just to see what exactly is happening with no goals or are you the one who wanted to study and looking for some sort of a courses to get the placement or are you already studying and you know looking to expand your horizon or you can expertise in that so i i guess that the poll is into the the question is on to your screen you can just vote and i'll just see the percentage and then i'll get a clarity what sort of people we have so i can see that the majority of the people are looking to study and looking for the courses which is more than 62% wow that's nice and the second highest is like already studying which is 23 or 22% of people are already studying and wanted to expand their horizon that's even much better and few 7 or 8 percentage of people are just here so what i'm going to do over here is like i'll be covering each and every question so i'll be deriving the conversation from the cd question as well as that one's question as well so that we can help everybody and um, trust me guys i pick up every single questions and uh, we will make it the most of it in this particular webinar because we also have an amazing guest uh, who is doing amazing well in his life coming from a non it background so there's a lot more uh, you will be getting at the end of the webinar and uh, i'll be telling you and we will be interacting with him so lots more going to happen all right so stay tuned but yeah i got a pretty much clarity about the audience now what exactly you going to learn over here today so we will be firstly trying to understand that who is data analyst we will start from the very basic who is data analyst and how to become a data analyst all right and uh, you can you know how to build a successful career as a data analyst that you will be uh, understanding okay so everything this are the main basic thing that everybody needs to understand and that we will help you to understand that who is data analyst how to become a data analyst and how to build a successful career as a data analyst and also the best part is even you will also get a reality check to understand whether you are the right fit for it or not and is it a tough transition or a smooth transition or a easy transition everything now what you will get over in this particular webinar so you will be able to ask question to our speaker who is coming as a guest to speaker and also you will be getting a certificate of participation this webinar is going to take only for one hour that's it and everybody who will be attending till the end will be getting a special offer for our data analytics course but i i said that i have one amazing surprise for you all let me tell you today right now just because uh, everybody has joined in so right now today 
one of you will get a chance to win this premium course of coding invaders which promises job guarantee in a written agreement that too for free so i am running this contest right now you can see the link in the chat section go and participate in this contest and at the end of this webinar that is just after 30 40 minutes i'll be sharing my screen i'll be choosing the one random person and he will be getting enrolled with our premium batch and that too for free all right with all the legal formalities of getting agreement and getting a job guaranteed agreement all right so the contest starts right now and it's going to end in just at the end of this particular webinar so stay tuned till the end of course like this is something we are interacting with the expert we will be asking questions we will be trying to understand everything and at the end we are getting learning as well as we are getting the gifts that is the prizes as well so it's is something that it is going to be an amazing for you all for sure we're going to have an amazing learning so go link is into the chat section go register i'll just wait for at least 10 to 20 seconds so that everybody gets a chance to go register before i jump and start interacting with the guest speaker so i'll be giving you 10 minutes sorry not 10 minutes 10 second or 20 second so that you can go register and give me a thumbs up if you are done so that i can start interacting with the guest speaker all right so without any waste wasting any time i just wanted to start so give me a thumbs up guys if you have already registered so that you know we can quickly start the webinar so i can see that the people have started participating in the contest like come on guys like it's it's, it's like started just now and it's going to end in just 50 minutes or uh, no yeah in 50 minutes right so it's a matter of one hour and by sitting at your home with your mobile phone you know having a mobile phone and you can win this thing because right in front of you i'll be selecting the random winner so i would request you all because this is a weekend and uh, rather than scrolling instagram if you are staying here learning something at least we will get a clarity that what to do and what not to do at least we will get a clarity that data analysis is not over hyped data analytics is something which is we need to rely on and this is the safest career all right and why we need to think about it so i guess almost everybody have registered and everybody is giving me a thumbs up all right so let's get started so i can see that the people have already registered thank you so the link will be there you can see in the in the top at the chat section the link is still there so whoever is coming keep on clicking it and you will get an uh, you will get to participate in this contest all right moving ahead so let's start this particular webinar and we have an amazing guest as i said mr shubhankit and uh, he's a data analyst by the way so i won't say much he is himself uh, sufficient to give his introduction uh, thank you shubhankit for joining over here, uh, over here and uh, passing the mic to you yeah, thanks i mean really thanks uh, so uh, good evening guys so all of you who are in india i'm not sure if somebody has joined from outside but uh, really really good evening and uh, my name is shubhankit sarveya i work in uh, accenture as a data scientist and uh, as amit said i was initially in a non technical field i was not so not technical uh, you know but uh, i come from a metallurgical and medical science background right so i came from that field and i did uh, then became a data scientist and i'm currently working in one of the best organization that i wanted to work in right mm -hmm. accenture ai so just a little bit let me tell you about accenture ai right it's a little different from accenture right so accenture ai ai here does not mean artificial intelligence it means applied intelligence applied intelligence basically means it covers <clears throat> everything from uh, you know basic analysis to a complex object detection algorithm it covers everything whatever you can have in a field of data science mm -hmm. right so i work as a data science analyst there uh, mm -hmm. in accenture there is no specific position for data scientist right so uh, and i don't, i cannot uh, you know have anything like there could not be anything better to spend a saturday after uh, saturday evening with you know around i i can see like there are 200 approx people like more than 200 people in the session right so it will be great to interact with all of you and i really like to you know do these kind of things and as amir said right one of the things i like to uh, recall from what he said that uh, you know as a learner in a field of data science and in a field of i think other tech as well you should attend as many seminars as many uh, webinars or you know live events maybe uh, as you can right because it gives you a lot of exposure right and it gives you a lot of industry relevant experience and you can talk to people you can talk to uh, 
you know actual people who are working there you can talk to uh, peers who are preparing from a different path that you are you know there are a lot of things that you can do because you know if you're preparing just on your own then uh, you know you might get stuck or you might get uh, you might think that you are ready maybe you're not ready um, you might be ready and you think you're not ready right so there can be many uh, confusions but when you go out you see mm-hmm. other people it gives you a lot of clarity right right, right. right. so uh, yeah so as amir said i moved successfully uh, into the it field from a non it background right so let's see a little bit about that mm-hmm. and uh, i love to answer a lot of questions right i love to see a lot of uh, your people questions your people journey your people uh, experiences because you know uh, as you can see i graduated in 2020 right mm-hmm. so i am like and i see like there are a lot of people who are you know quite above my age right so they exactly. might have experienced a lot of thing in their life which i have not right mm-hmm. so uh, if you call me an expert so i'm just an expert in data science but uh, there are a lot of people who might be a lot of expert in other life experiences and things that maybe i'm not right? so, so uh, like shubhang i have just one question with you because like we are genuinely very excited interacting with you because you are from a non it background which is very rare to find a data scientist having a non it background yeah so like everybody is here like must be thinking uh, that how is it possible and they are also trying to become one like you so can you throw a bit more light that how exactly your journey started after your like after your intermediate like when which graduation you were when you realized that i need to go here and how tough or easy it was to learn and then you know crack and the things up a short uh, journey just wanted to uh, know we wanted to know can you please tell us yeah so uh, i started like i was in my graduation in nid jaipur and uh, i was completing my graduation in field of material science and metallurgy and in the final year of my uh, college you know mm-hmm. one of my cousins suggested me to uh, check out the field of data science right mm-hmm. and uh, as a lot of people here mm-hmm. i also had a fear of coding right i like i didn't want to do coding at all mm-hmm. right so he suggested me to go from a mathematical perspective you could just learn on pen and paper the machine learning part mm-hmm. and see if it interests you right so i did that right i did some you know common general courses that are possible that are available out there mm-hmm. so i just get the fundamental of it and then you know it i saw that okay there is something that can be done for a long time there is something that actually impacting things right because mm-hmm. if somebody is here is from a mathematical background they'll understand this thing what i'm saying exactly. is that we used to solve you know matrix questions in uh, 11th and 12th and mm-hmm. the solution goes for two and three pages mm-hmm. if you have to find a determinant of a matrix the solution goes for two three pages mm-hmm. but you never told what is the purpose of it right exactly <coughs> sorry about that so you know that is a thing that when i see okay this thing is basically an image that are feeding into a computer you know those things are really exciting right okay now i can transfer whole of my learning into a machine using mathematics so mm-hmm. i think that was my uh, go to moment to data science Mm-hmm. and then i you know took up some small small courses small small steps checking mm-hmm. out many courses checking out many sources basically mm-hmm. all the sources that are possible uh, and also it was time of covid right so we uh, we had you know everybody had a different sort of some people had chaos some people had uh, you know different sort of mindset in that situation mm-hmm. right so i pay pay all of my attention to uh, learning data science and uh, then you know i got campus placed into one of a firm which was not exactly doing data science but they were doing a sort of a consultancy in a field of crm right mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so i worked along with them and uh, mm-hmm. along while uh, along with my job i used to prepare for data science right okay. uh, thing that i wanted to do basically mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. and also while doing the job i used to uh, include some of my knowledge that i'm learning into mm-hmm. the uh, like my current work right, All right. All and right. then i uh, like i went to one of the training institute too right just to get a uh, you know the idea of data science just to mm-hmm. learn everything and do some uh, projects and all, everything and uh, learn with the projects and prepare a portfolio everything like that right so i joined alma mater also right there and mm-hmm. then uh, finally i got into accenture ai and last week i completed my one year in accenture ai right mm-hmm. and it has been a great journey till uh, now in accenture ai i done some great projects some uh, exceptional kind of a project you know some projects that have to learn everything from scratch mm-hmm. and then do data science in it right so like that is like a current stage if i that answers your question sir so uh, like uh, just uh, wanted to know one thing as you said that you <coughs> were working as a crm associate and meanwhile yeah. you were also preparing by yourself mm-hmm. so uh, just wanted to know that Uh, at least how many hours you were giving daily to learn it like and was it like your life was so hectic during that time like 
or what like how it was uh, i would say if it it would become hectic if you don't enjoy it right mm-hmm. uh, so at one point i used to see learning data science as a escape to my daily schedule okay you know, at that point you will not see that as a hectic part right? mm-hmm. okay i am doing this thing as now but mm-hmm. from 7 pm to 11 pm i have to do uh, a machine learning algorithm got it so it will not feel hectic and yeah. if even if it feel hectic then it would be like one or two days and mm-hmm. you know what will be the outcome of it and right? that is not unhidden from anybody that what data science is capable of or mm-hmm. doing in the current scenario got it and yeah you have to manage time that is that is not a because 24 hours is there you cannot increase so at least time. how much hours we need to give if you i would say uh, 3 hours at least per day okay. if you are working professional if you are doing a job that is completely relevant to data science mm-hmm. and you want to transition into data science then 3 uh, hours at least a day and in mm-hmm. that 3 hours it should be like at least one and a half hour of learning right Yeah, you are mm-hmm. listening to people. Maybe you are listening a lecture, mm-hmm. and at least one one hour of proper hands-on mm-hmm. data science. It might mm-hmm. be on pen and paper in the initial mm-hmm. part. Mm-hmm. Let's you are doing statistics. It might be on pen and paper, mm-hmm. and let's you are uh, practicing Python. So it will be mm-hmm. like on your laptop. Yeah, exactly. Got it. And uh, <coughs> meanwhile, just you were talking about the metrics and everything. So I just wanted to. Uh, make people uh, feel relaxed that for sure don't think that we need a pro level of mathematics yeah. or everything would you like to comment anything so that you know people yeah, think that, that you know a, i need to get the mathematics thing to get into data nah, science so else. how basic mathematics is required can you just tell us see I, again i have to give one example uh, so it would be simple like so i think all of you know what differentiation is mm-hmm. right if you don't know differentiation it would be just one line of explanation it gives you a rate of change that's it mm-hmm. you know speed when you talk about speed is equal to distance upon time right that is mm-hmm. basically one sort of differentiation you right mm-hmm. you don't need to solve anything on pen and paper you just mm-hmm. need to understand ki, okay this is it is giving me this right mm-hmm. and then everything the algorithm will take care of right exactly. so that so if you are like uh, the only reason of not going to data science is that uh, you have something even better in your hand mm-hmm. this this cannot be one excuse that uh, i don't want it like math is complex because the uh, it was just an example guys i was giving you right uh, don't feel underwhelmed by that uh, <laughs> this thing generally happens like shubankit whenever i talk to the people mm-hmm. uh, when any guest used to say this they say they think they have a first of all people have hundreds of pre assumptions in their mind if they are from non it background Hmm. Right, so they think that's a pro level thing, but yes, guys, as like if you have understood well what Shubankit said, matrices and everything, these things were coming in the high school and eleventh and all. Hmm. So it's a basic level of things are required, and you don't need to understand the whole derivation of it. You hmm. just need to understand exactly. the basic purpose why it is like this. That's it. Yeah. All right. So Shubankit, we got a pretty much good clarity, uh, and uh, so there was one basic simple question I wanted to understand. Uh, just because now you are into uh, data analyst or data science field so what do you exactly like best about being a data analyst we are literally very excited to know that he like what unique you used to face and w- what exactly excites you over here ah uh, there would be two things on it right first mm-hmm. thing would be uh, the flexibility part right mm-hmm. that uh, you know i can take up a data in a csv format and i can do something with it right mm-hmm. and i'll prepare some outcome of that data maybe in a form of charts or something anything like that okay and uh, let's say you take a, took up the same data mm-hmm. and you made a predictive model out of it right mm-hmm. and somebody took the same data and they make a pivot table out of that okay right? so it's just the same data right three people who are working independently each uh, out of each other Mm-hmm. they are giving you three different output of the same data right got it so that sort of flexibility that i see qk it's like uh, and it's a phrase also right Ki data is like a coal of our 21st century mm-hmm. right so that that thing excites me the most ki uh, even if there's a project that has been done by uh, thousands of people mm-hmm. you are doing it for the first time mm-hmm. there's a high chance that you will find something uh, which is completely new right understand that's the first thing second thing that i uh, really liked was uh, that when you are working in a field of data science mm-hmm. you 
you are not actually transitioning from like generally people not transition from completely a different domain to data science generally they mm -hmm. transition to uh, generally they include data science in their field right for mm -hmm. example if i am an automobile engineer mm -hmm. right my uh, let's say what last two years i have made uh, i was working in a car factory right mm -hmm. so when i learn data science the best thing that i would i should do i will not leave automobile learning that i have left right it will include uh, include a business part in it right and that mm -hmm. would be like 40% part of a data science mm -hmm. right? and the uh, same thing goes for data analyst as well right data science basically the field and data analyst basically the position got right? it got it so those two things i like a uh, really lot about data science that how mm -hmm. much business knowledge is going in right mm -hmm. and what all uh, the flexibility part that i uh, told you right what all things i can extract from data what different things you can extract from data mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. those would be like my two things all right all right thank you so much for this detailed explanation uh we are more curious to understand <laughs> before uh we more uh, go in deep to understand about it but exactly like uh like i am like to be uh, very honest i am also a mechanical engineer mm -hmm. so uh, consider me as like an audience like a very layman language if i will try to understand so what would you tell me that what exactly uh, the data analyst are and what is the main goal what sort of a job responsibility they do when they get a job as a data analyst can you please explain me so uh, if i would say in one single line right mm -hmm. that as a data analyst you have to find patterns inside the data right patterns. that's it yeah you have to find patterns inside the data that's it okay. right so you will be given it, the data and it might have one column it might mm -hmm. have 1000 columns right mm -hmm. and you need to find patterns right okay. and now the complexity of your work would uh, depend ki either you are finding pattern in one column or you are finding pattern among five different columns right okay so just for clarity guys uh, mm -hmm. columns basically are the vertical row, uh, rows mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. something like that right so just imagine a simple uh, excel table right so those are your main goals right okay and it would be like one way or the other this is mm -hmm. the main right? you would be is it something my... is it something sort of a reasoning we are trying to make sense out of the chunk of data yeah exactly stuff? like it's that only right Okay. is that only see uh, basically it's not like clients don't know their data it's their mm -hmm. data they are making money out of their business so they know mm -hmm. their data very well mm -hmm. but the thing is they don't they cannot see the patterns in their data they are not trained to see the patterns in their data they are yep. trained to make use of uh, patterns only yeah and it will take them time to realize those patterns but as a data analyst when you will be mm -hmm. working with the tools that data analyst have it might mm -hmm. be a coding language it might be a visualization tool Right, mm -hmm. so you will be and with your training, right? So mm -hmm. along with all those things, you mm -hmm. will be more equipped to find those patterns easily, mm -hmm. and even more patterns that are hard to find, right? And then you can relate uh, those pattern to money, right? Understood. Understood. Right. Okay. okay, I am seeing that uh, just a simple example, right? Okay, I am seeing that uh, for a particular holiday destination, right? Mm -hmm. uh generally it's there that uh, in the holiday season mm -hmm. the number of demand increases right that's mm -hmm. normal thing. Mm -hmm. even the people who have hotels and resorts in those uh, region they know that right? mm -hmm. but can i find something specific to it right mm -hmm. okay i see the pattern increasing but mm -hmm. i don't see the number of hotels increasing okay right? so mm -hmm. now you're comparing two different variables mm -hmm. two different columns right or like so i can see the patterns increasing but i cannot mm -hmm. see the price increasing Mm -hmm. right now there are three variables right mm -hmm. so comparing those making sense out of those is mm -hmm. basically your main goal of a data analyst mm -hmm. and uh, there's also you know there's a lot of confusion uh, between roles data analyst business analyst i think mm -hmm. we'll cover that questions later mm -hmm. right and it's a very exactly. important question to understand and uh, if i can go to the next question that i see on the screen like what exactly do they perform so it would be the same thing that i'm saying mm -hmm. that you need to find patterns and using mm -hmm. the tools that you have right exactly. again tools can be a coding language or a mm -hmm. uh, any tool that you are using mm -hmm. and any tool basically a third party tool we use maybe power mm -hmm. bi or tableau we can use and you have to present those thing either to your client or mm -hmm. to your senior manager who will present it to client understood understood <laughs> so what, what i understood is shubhanker like in a very basic way that if if any business is there for sure they are making money out of it but if i will hire a data analyst 
he can give me idea that what exactly is happening and what exactly is going to happen mm-hmm. and i can make my decision much better without wasting any time i will be well prepared and i can be more profitable with uh, compared to the one which i was expecting if i yeah. have a best or better team of a data analyst or a data scientist am i correct yeah. yeah plus everything would be uh, numbered you know everything mm. would be numbered that is the most important thing if i am giving you a suggestion mm-hmm. okay amir uh, it's it's be- it would be better if you prepare this much of a inventory mm-hmm. right so i'll have a logic of it right mm-hmm. i'm not just thinking because i am working here for last 20 years mm-hmm. so from my experience i i am saying that you should prepare inventory of this much amount mm-hmm. right i am saying with predict uh, have a inventory of this much amount because mm-hmm. last year you had this last year i had this going mm-hmm. from that right mm-hmm. i'll have some mathematical logic of it right? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that makes a difference between a data analyst or a mm-hmm. normal person who is working in a particular industry for 20 years got it got it got it got it so it seems that the data analyst is one of the crucial position which is <coughs> where you guys are dealing with the data so it's like a crucial thing for any yeah. star, uh, you know companies to rely on i mean it cannot that's why i guess it's a most uh, high paying profession and the demand is increasing so much especially in india because uh, india is now a, a startup hub i can see and yeah. for sure without data analysts it is not getting possible to make a efficient business moves so that's why guys i was saying that you know it's a huge vacancies are here you need to make the most of it and uh, for sure like it it makes sense sometimes you know that uh, see shubankit uh, is from nit uh, from a very reputed college but in spite of that he thought about it something is really very much you know um, interesting in that that's why this guy has took a transition because i genuinely respect those people who qualified iit nit because it takes a hell lot of efforts to be very honest as i have observed because i failed in jm means more than twice or thrice <laughs> <laughs> and i did from private college and uh, i can totally understand that it takes a lot of uh, efforts to crack these things so i respect that that was a confession okay <laughs> so it's a huge opportunity guys and you can see the way he's explaining and the kind of a logic we can build it is for sure it's going to be an amazing thing and uh, we can definitely look into it all right so moving ahead um as we were just dis- coming discussing about the businesses and and everything so can you throw some more light that why uh, exactly the business needs apart from understand like uh, i'm sure you must have worked into several projects yeah. and as far as i understand accenture is uh, takes projects from the clients and that's what we do uh, if i'm not wrong so have you already worked into some business cases as well uh, what sort of uh, what exactly the business needs from you uh, so i mean it's like uh, again as i said right they know their data like it's not like they are people who don't know their data obviously they're making money out of it right so mm-hmm. they know their data very well mm-hmm. but the thing is they don't know the recent trends right mm-hmm. they don't know what to do with that data right mm-hmm. they'll know okay, okay this is my one particular column of uh, mm-hmm. let's say my sales and this one particular column is of my uh employee efficiency right but mm-hmm. how to make sense of it because they mm-hmm. need numbers right as a data analyst you are not taking decisions for a client mm-hmm. client will take the decisions right okay. but you have to present them the best number out of their data right Understood. in uh, like when you prepare a dashboard we mm-hmm. have a term of kpi that is key performing index right mm-hmm. so you have 17 columns in your data you had 1000 rows in your data mm-hmm. and there are three kpis Mm-hmm. So now seventeen column thousand rows basically seventeen thousand data mm-hmm. points you have, right? Exactly. And out of those seventeen thousand data points, mm-hmm. as a data analyst, I am mm-hmm. giving them three numbers. Okay, out mm-hmm. by these three numbers, you can judge your performance, right? Wow. So now you can think from a business perspective. Okay, okay I had one Excel file. I give this guy, mm-hmm. right? And he gave me three numbers, and he gave me the logic behind that. Mm-hmm. Mm. now it's obviously on the business uh, is their business right so they'll make a decision out of what what you have to do with that uh, uh, what you have to do with that numbers you have to make some changes you have to make some infrastructural changes buy something sell something that's on them right mm-hmm. but for uh, my from my power i gave them three mm-hmm. different kpis because okay, these are the numbers make sense out of it and those are business people right mm-hmm. they deal with uh, customers they deal with people they deal with uh, you know a lot of things so they don't need to uh, go into these things right 
Mm-hmm. So let's say I work in a service-based company, right? So we are mm-hmm. having clients who are asking us to do this. Let's say one, some of you are working in a product-based company, mm-hmm. right? So you'll be working as a data analyst in a product-based company. Mm-hmm. So you'll be doing all of these things for your own product. Mm-hmm. Right? It's just a simple thing. So, you know, what I see is that when you're working in a product-based company, you're just working for one client. Mm-hmm. Nothing, there's nothing different in working in service-based and product-based. Right? You're just working for one client. When you're working in service-based, you're working mm-hmm. for different clients at different mm-hmm. times. Yeah, maybe uh, you work for one client for five years. That is also possible. And the other thing it would be, mm-hmm. <coughs> sorry, that uh, uh, they have a lot of chunk of data. Right? Sometimes they don't That's know right, yeah. if the data is correct or not. Right? That mm-hmm. is also a thing. Mm-hmm. And that is, you know, the harsh part of data science that sometimes mm-hmm. you have to clean the data as well. Right? It's not everything like uh, you get a, you know, clean data, every, every column is filled. You know, that's something a hard part of data science. Mm-hmm. Not hard, but it's not something that uh, most of people working in a field of data science uh, profession like in you know, the cleaning part of data science. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it, it's there, right? It's just like a normal process. You have to clean the data. So Understood. yeah, we have some tools. You can do it really easily. But if, the, if you have to answer this, why business needs DA? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's that they cannot do that themselves. That's mm-hmm. one answer. If 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 suppose I will not if any companies like is not hiring data analyst in yeah. in, in their business team, what what sort of uh, problems they uh, will for surely face? There would be a lot of problems, right? So just for example, take a uh, like you were discussing one question, right? Ki why now business? Why now this position has evolved so much? Right? Python mm-hmm. was there for a long time, right? Mm-hmm. Why why this position is evolved? It is because customers have evolved a lot, right? Mm-hmm. With the advent of 4G and uh, as India is a growing population always, right? So with the advent of all of those things, mm-hmm. a lot of customer base have increased, right? Mm-hmm. So now, let's say Netflix does not have a recommendation system. Mm-hmm. Right? So let's say you open Netflix and it shows you just uh, the thing that have uploaded recently. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So you have to watch something and you are just scrolling through a list, everything. Mm-hmm. So you, you will not get hooked to that platform, right? Yep, true. And uh, similar with the YouTube, right? So let's say I search a video of coding invaders, mm-hmm. right? And uh, I don't see any coding related, any data science related video in my suggestions. Exactly. Right? exactly. So just think of if those things were not there. Those things are part of data science recommendation systems, true. right? True. Similar to that's why business needs them, right? Mm-hmm. To make things uh, more evolved, right? They'll mm-hmm. stuck, and there are people who have not used data science. There are companies who have not used data science, and we don't know the name of them, right? Yeah, yeah. right. because this is just an asset, right? Data mm-hmm. is a goal, right? So mm-hmm. you have to utilize it, and you have a big customer base too. They are generating a lot of data, and good companies are those, you know, successful mm-hmm. companies. Mm-hmm. They are gen- they are sensing data which is not even like people think. Uh, it's possible to capture. For example, Amazon, right? Mm-hmm. Amazon is capturing a lot of data, right? Mm-hmm. When you see, uh, when you know that uh, common experience that people talk about, ki, if you're talking about, uh, let's say, a particular Samsung phone, right? Mm-hmm. You or I might see an advice of it on our Facebook ad, right? Mm-hmm. So how it is coming there, right? We get amazed by that. Mm-hmm. Basically, they're sensing the data, right? They are sensing it some from somewhere and then they're showing you, right? So that's the whole part of business. If we don't have a data analyst there, mm-hmm. you can think you okay, what sort of things these person are talking about in their daily life or what mm-hmm. sort of things they're involved in. They cannot mm-hmm. show, show me the recommendation. I will not, they will have less chance of buying that. They will not make profit. Mm-hmm. It's a good cycle. So what I have understood is like uh, the way you explain Python, it mm-hmm. was already existed, but now people have started uh, uh, taking awareness about it. So uh, I guess this data analyst profession is not something which is evolving now. It was mm-hmm. earlier as well, yeah. but now it's like getting recognized because the demand is increasing a lot. So guys, I wanted to convey one thing that, you know, how beautifully this uh, was explained by Shubankir. Do you mm-hmm. wish like if you will see in this particular, if I'll talk about the vacancy part and if I'll talk about uh, the opportunities part, so you're going to see that more than uh, you know, uh, 2 million jobs you will face for sure. And uh, in 2022, like you can just Google it and you will see. And uh, the world is totally, completely moving towards the data driven. That's why the majority of investments are coming in that way. 
and for sure it's not a bubble it's it's a future and without it nothing uh, like, like it's it's a non negotiable thing for any businesses or any companies without it there's a lot of repercussions so that's why why we feel that it can be a be assured as a guaranteed job why because this is not something which is i'm telling you as in a very attractive word this is something which is a very practical thing because vacancies are high even if i will schedule 10 interviews for you you will be able to crack one at least for sure because the demand is high and if the demand is high it is not the only thing that you will get it for sure no you must be skilled in the needed areas needed you know tools which kubank is just saying that certain tools certain dashboard so certain tools if you will learn and then if you will apply for sure you will be able to get it and that's what we have made and that's why the people are getting the maximum responses so how we can uh, you know give you the job guaranteed thing because we analyze 1900 plus job openings in a market and contact more than 100 plus id companies and we have that data already and we have a good relations in india and abroad as well so that's why we are able to make it possible because we are already training the employees of 100 plus companies which we are into good bond and we have more than 300 plus hiring partners as well and that's the result we our networks are increasing so much that even a person who is studying with us never uh, face a problem in you know scheduling an interviews we help them to schedule their interviews and they will crack it by themselves because we have taught them in such a way so that they sound like an experienced person all right so i want to tell you once again guys i hope you got a pretty much clarity about what i'm trying to say that this opportunity is something if you are just ignoring then you are just ignoring the biggest opportunity uh, which is there on your silver plate and to remind you guys we are still into this contest and you can win this premium course that too for free in this particular webinar and just in just like you can say 20 30 minutes i'm going to announce all right the link is in the chat section go register and i'll continue with the shubankit once again all right shubham shubankit uh, just wanted to now understand like we understood the business needs we understood that what exactly data analytics is now the question is the person like me right who how like people like from a non it like you are also non it kind of very good inspiration for me personally to be very honest and i love the fact the way you explain the data analyst thing uh how i can become the one uh who is a, let's suppose let's consider the worst case scenario i'm a below average guy who is very dumb in mathematics all right and uh, yeah that sort of a person so can i become a data analyst yeah i would say absolutely right it it's not like uh, see first of all you know when you were in school right so uh the metric that we were being uh you know evaluated on was not as mm-hmm. as accurate right so we are being taught questions we are solving those questions and we are getting marks right so the math same math is not there in data science right mm-hmm. if you know what differentiation is mm-hmm. that is different thing and mm-hmm. if i tell you this question of differentiation it will come in your exam it's a five page question and if you remember that question you wrote mm-hmm. it similarly in exam you got full marks right so those are two different things right mm-hmm. uh, so first of all that thing doesn't matter right mm-hmm. now if somebody is starting from scratch see mm-hmm. this is and this is kind of my personal experience mm-hmm. don't waste your time searching for a really 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 good source right exactly like, i have seen people searching for uh, right resource uh, for 2 3 months mm-hmm. in that time they could have learned python and sql mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. and there are a lot of great instructor there are a lot of good courses I personally seen this course of coursing in uh, coding in Windows Server, which is also good, right? And there are many resources, right? So first of all, that thing should be the first thing that you should go above that inertia of you know finding something perfect, mm-hmm. right? And rather start doing it, right? Start from what you have at your hand, right? Sure. First thing would be that. The mm-hmm. other thing, uh, you know, if somebody is starting from scratch, mm-hmm. don't look at the persons who are already there. right because it's so really overwhelming right so if i want to become a data analyst or data scientist or something mm-hmm. like that if i see someone uh, let let's take a normal example if someone will have seen my linkedin profile they'll see okay, okay he has done these one of care courses he has done these many projects i have done mm-hmm. nothing right how will it go compare from when I, where i started right mm-hmm. i did also nothing uh, in my resume nothing no projects in my linkedin profile right mm-hmm. so 
uh, like start from that point right ki okay there is a starting point for everyone right so first those two things are important before starting any technical thing right Understood. then i think the best uh, you know because these are the most harder skills right other so, things you know are in line the syllabus is in line right ki you have mm-hmm. to learn this first you have to learn that first you have to learn this first those things are in line you will find from great sources of it you will find great mm-hmm. mentors you will get great uh, people you can talk about all these things right so the hardest part is to just start it right mm-hmm. uh, most people i see they um, and please don't feel uh, get me wrong here with anybody in the chat but mm-hmm. this is hard truth right and you need to understand this mm-hmm. most people want to get into field of data science because mm-hmm. they saw an ad somewhere that it's a high paying job mm-hmm. it's a high paying job because it's required and it mm-hmm. requires a lot of skills to go there exactly it's not a high paying job because there are less people in it there are a lot of people in it right mm-hmm. and that's what my perspective is for data science that it mm-hmm. in the end it would be like uh, something like quality versus quantity right mm-hmm. and if you go from a steady perspective you'll always be towards the side of quality right and right. that's what i want from all the people who are attending these sessions right mm-hmm. focus a lot of time on your studies as much time you focus on your studies better data analyst or data scientist will become Mm. Right, and everything will be smooth, right? You'll get good projects, you'll get good respect, right? And uh, if you if you just mug up things, if you're just rushing towards that for one your first job, right? Then you might end up becoming one, you but you will be the bad one, right? Then you not the bad. All right guys uh Yeah yeah thank you thank you guys for staying over here I can see now uh the network is okay all right uh, thank you so much guys for waiting all right uh, I'll just quickly resume and bring my guest speaker who so that we can understand everything from where we are exactly trying to do so i'm just texting the guest speaker so that he can join in again so don't worry guys stay here there was some network lag we faced that's not a big deal we can fix it not a problem so i guess shubankit is here so that's not a problem we are still here and the audience audience is very very nice they are still waiting that's nice thank you guys so shubhanki just because uh, as we can see that we are like uh, you know uh, running uh, very uh, like close to the time so we just yeah. want to understand shubhanki that you know 
uh what are the major tool that would you like to suggest us that you know is only required <coughs> if i wanted to go because there's a too many things in the market yeah. which is confusing us so what sort of a tool would you like to suggest to us um uh, sql as you know as you can see on your screen right sql python power bi uh for a, if you're going for a, specifically for good data analysts then mm-hmm. you can hold for statistic you know mm-hmm. uh you know if it's uh, if it's too much for you right you can take that lightly lightly but sql is one thing that you should know like uh, you should be an expert in sql i would say because basically sql is used to extract data and if you don't have data how will you play with it right so True. sql is really important power mm-hmm. bi is really important and you know people will have question like power bi or tab right mm-hmm. so my session would be to uh, go with power bi it's mm-hmm. just the same thing right once you'll get a hold of power bi uh, we can easily get a hold of uh, tableau as well uh, it's just the same tool uh, just similar ui everything like all, almost same so Understood. these are the main skills uh, but just one skill i would like to add it's not a technical skill but it's really important it's storytelling right storytelling mm-hmm. is really important with data right that if i okay. uh, have a if i have to make five graphs which graph will first uh, come first which will graph will come last mm-hmm. that thing is really important right so Understood. that that's come from basically idea of storytelling and to learn that you mm-hmm. have to play, play around with data you have to talk to business people okay right? they'll tell you what will come first and you know that because that thing comes from experience right? mm-hmm. so hang around with people in your company or in your group which you have a little bit of experience who have a little bit of uh thought about okay, okay how sh- it should look like because mm-hmm. it's not all technical right when you're going mm-hmm. in a field of data science it's 40 60 where 60 is technical 40 is your business side understood 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 that's even great it was much required because i can see there's a uh, people are more confused in in you know covering the maximum tools which is not required as of now because if we are transitioning all right mm-hmm. now uh, just wanted to understand one thing from you uh that what would you like to suggest to us that how we can acquire those uh, skill set is men- how important is to get support of mentoring and how exactly we can polish them once let's say once you have a good source of steady right let's say once you have a place where you are getting good lectures right that's mm-hmm. fine now mm-hmm. how would you uh, what what would, would be your part mm-hmm. so it would be practice right you are, there are a lot of sources who give you an access to practice coding right for mm-hmm. example if i talk about uh, sql right so mm-hmm. there's w3 schools there hacker rank right mm-hmm. there are a lot of things and they are free right you just have to sign up solve courses mm-hmm. solve the questions and that's it right but exactly. you know we have we don't have a urge to go there right mm-hmm. we run behind certificates and all right but exactly. practices and there is there's not not something new i am saying right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this is this has been already there practice 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 mm-hmm. right exactly. same for sql same for python and uh, you know for learning all of those together i would say you know you learn on public data sets right mm-hmm. for example if you can get a uh, and access to kegel right kegel mm-hmm. is a site that provides you public data sets mm-hmm. right and it provides you tasks and like you can have discussions and everything like that Understood. so you know you can work there right Understood. so you don't have to search data and everything like that you can just mm-hmm. work there so Understood. practice a lot on those things and make mistakes there right and when you get stuck on a error right mm-hmm. don't don't close your laptop right you know if it's error i cannot solve it because i'm not from a coding background understand that error see how why that error is coming you know go through the what written in that error right understood. so those things are really important and uh, the same way i the same i'm just telling the process that i i followed right mm-hmm. and it should work with everyone because it's not something new it's just a simple hard code followed process and i think that should be the thing for everyone because this will help you become really good in fundamentals understood so, complex thing will come and go but fundamental should stay there Mm-hmm. got it got it thank you so much uh, for uh, bringing this idea <coughs> now the most important question comes in my mind is like uh, whether i'm the right fit for it or not how i will get to understand that this is my cup of tea i don't think there's any specific uh, you know breed of people who are right fit of it <laughs> but uh, if you just really like to clean things right if you like things to if you if you are a kind of a person who likes to keep things arranged right uh, you know if you are not a kind of a person who keeps things a mess mm-hmm. then you will be you will like it right you like it and uh, i mean that's just one my analogy right because basically you're 
arranging the data right that's what data exactly. analytics is doing you arranging it in a right format arranging mm-hmm. it in a proper format where you can showcase it to others right so exactly. that would be uh, my point that this is this is the way you can understand and just mm-hmm. uh, if you want to check right can you right fit or not mm-hmm. so you know i'm sure like see this is a data science webinar right attend more seminars here or like these things like that attend more talks like that mm-hmm. and you will understand you will be good on good in it or not right there's exactly. no one scale that you can have it's just like mm-hmm. do you like these mm-hmm. type of talks do you like this type of conversation do you mm-hmm. see yourself uh, yeah this is something i can do right mm-hmm. and uh, if you are good in one of the skills right for example i was good in math right so i went from the mathematical perspective mm-hmm. i see like, the maths of it right if i see a complex algorithm i see a maths of it ki isme ho kaise raha hai right exactly. i'm sorry right? somebody this is understand hindi but uh, mm-hmm. that's the point so mm-hmm. just see ki if it gives you that vibe there is no such complex thing to check there understood understood thank you so much so guys one thing i wanted to tell you guys is that uh, as you already know that shubhank is from non it so there is no any as such criteria or the parameters is there anybody with any background can do it if he he or she is equally passionate and dedicated about it right so there's no certain limitations or anything there's no age limit anything uh, correct me if i'm wrong shivangit so uh, anybody uh, with the current skill set if they polish themselves with the right skill set the needed one which is required definitely you are most welcome into this particular profession exactly and to to take care of all this that's what we do to teach you from scratch and that's why very much important if you will not be taught from scratch then you won't be able to achieve that thing one thing i used i remember what shubankit was saying again and again to you all that practice a lot which means he is trying to say a practical based learning is very much required it's not only a uh, just a theoretical part which i'm trying to say why because he said that i need to spend at least 3 hours out of which one and a half hours he was saying that learning and then implementing the practicing part that's the major important thing if i'll just say so that's why uh, we have made the modules in such a way where you have to do 80 percent practice so that when you are giving an interview you sound practical person that yes i have did because see it is not something that you have to just keep on saying that you are hard working in an interview that's not make sense over there these are the people who are just looking f- and they are trying to see the ability to solve their problem that's it if they will see that ha huh, this person has done this things he can solve my problem they will go ahead all right so we have those lms interactive as, uh, assignments and all the project based learning will will which will polish you from scratch to an advanced level which is exactly required to get into a uh, data analyst profession all right that's it guys so i just wanted to know we have few more questions and then we will jump to the q and a and then we will be announcing the winner stay tuned guys because uh, i know you guys are enjoying this particular session but still two three major question is left we will try to wrap up as fast as i can but still you know let's cover up the maximum topics and then we will end up q and a and then for sure the winner will be announced all right so uh, shubhankit uh, what exactly if you could just you know, tell us a brief idea about that what exactly the career path of a data analyst uh, the career ladder basically if you will see this particular chart uh, mm-hmm. would you like to say something that how if i will get a transition how i will start what pref- uh, designation i'll get and and what exactly i will uh, i will grow basically so uh, i would just start as a data analyst and the path will take you on it right so uh, mm-hmm. you know the thing is that right so uh, generally it's you know it goes from the domain perspective you'll start mm-hmm. as a data analyst right but which particular domain will interest you right mm-hmm. that will you know that will come when you'll actually start working on it mm-hmm. you know let's say i start working as a data analyst and i'm working in telecommunication let's say i'm working in mm-hmm. atel right mm-hmm. and uh, i saw one of my friend working in a field of finance let's say he's mm-hmm. working in a bank and he's mm-hmm. also a data analyst mm-hmm. and i see okay what he is doing really interests me mm-hmm. right so i switched to his company right so now i am a data analyst in a case of finance right so i am a finance data analyst right and i really like that work right so i got promoted right so i became a senior financial analyst right so it's like that only there's no specific exactly. path uh, i would say just start from a point of data analyst and mm-hmm. uh, this this coming from personal perspective i have never rushed behind designation right i have rushed behind projects and it has worked for me really well mm-hmm. that always rush behind projects ki what okay i am becoming a data analyst in your firm but what mm-hmm. will i be doing there mm-hmm. right am i working on sql mm-hmm. am i working on things that i'm comfortable with okay mm-hmm. because it might be that you might go in some places as a 
really good designation and then why do you not working on a proper technical skills mm-hmm. right and at some point after one year people will ask you okay what are you doing there mm-hmm. right do not have something to tell them ki okay yaar main to ye kar raha hu wahan par mm-hmm. right so i don't want people to go behind designation mm-hmm. go behind projects go behind good teams mm-hmm. uh, designation will come money will come that thing goes uh, obviously things uh, you know if you do good work it's never goes unrecognized right mm-hmm. and uh, this obviously will start from data analyst and you know the adjectives will keep adding on you know data analyst senior data analyst principal data analyst and like, and also i also wanted to add some point over here that people are quite very much attracted towards the world called data scientist yeah so they say that no i want to become a data scientist not a data analyst so for mm-hmm. your kind information uh any which ways if you are transitioning you will be starting from data analyst as well there might mm-hmm. be a chances that you can get hired with the name of data scientist but the key responsibility that you will be doing will be a data analyst only exactly <laughs> right yeah, yeah so, exactly yeah so it's not something that you will be directly jumping to become a data analyst if you will do some bigger program or a bunch of extra tool if you will do it's not like that it's not going to happen yeah. correct me if i'm yeah. wrong yeah, right? yeah so it's it's like that uh, you know that it depends on company right because companies know that people want to become a data scientist right mm-hmm. so they'll hire really good talent with the name of data type scientist mm-hmm. and then they'll make them do the work of a business analyst right mm-hmm. basically you'll working with let's say only excel mm-hmm. right and still you are called as a data scientist in your company you know mm-hmm. all the things right exactly. so these things come and go right mm-hmm. uh, and i really like that thing about accenture ai right mm-hmm. there is no data scientist business analyst data analyst position there's mm-hmm. just one position that is data science analyst wow and all of people are there and based on your skill you get projects mm-hmm. and uh, you know based on your choice you can also get projects you okay, can want to do this thing if there's a project you'll get that mm-hmm. and uh, you know when we are outside we all are data scientists like we can call whatever you want i have two certifications of data engineer as a data scientist as well right mm-hmm. so that's why it doesn't matter as well and i won't want you guys to rush rush behind these things and you know mm-hmm. because if you're working in a really unicorn startup right mm-hmm. you see a business analyst making more money than a data scientist mm-hmm. in a normal mm-hmm. company right let's say i work in a local uh, uh, local company in a town and they are hiring a data scientist let's say mm-hmm. so they might be paying me 7 lpa right and a business analyst in swiggy might be, might be getting 15 16 lpa Mm-hmm. right so those difference can be there that based on organization these mm-hmm. things are based on projects right mm-hmm. so i mean it happens so you will have six interviews mm-hmm. right and that company might take you just on reference right so that thing is possible so don't rush behind these things right uh, just mm-hmm. focus on the project focus on the skills that you are acquiring mm-hmm. and whenever you are applying for a role just go through a job description right that's it and be quite specific about uh, when you're talking to hr or something like that just be quite specific about what projects i'll be working on right mm-hmm. frankly speaking i am the hr and if i am the technical person who is hiring that guy and if the guy ask what things i'll be working on i'll be impressed mm-hmm. okay he's coming here to work right and it's it's being honest right thank you thank you so much for this detailed answer now the uh, we got so much of ideas from you now i have also prepared a slide where i have mentioned the salaries of uh, you know mm-hmm. this designations and everything so i just wanted to understand now the earning opportunities in that and i wanted to see that uh, you know uh, how much would you like to correct me because i have taken the digits which is the rarest or the worst case situation all right mm-hmm. so i'll just show you exactly this is the designation which i have uh, <laughs> the first to two years this is the package and three to five years this is a package because whenever i did uh, you know the webinars with the many of the experts just like you they always used to tell me that i mean you have taken the least possible one people are achieving more than that what's your comment on this yeah i think those people were right <laughs> so, uh, so uh, again right i mean uh, again like you can just whatever if you guys can uh, uh, i guess this audience can see your screen right amir mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right so if you guys can see what uh, amir has written right so just uh, add i guess a uh, little 10 20% of it right and mm-hmm. that would be something right and uh, that would be something and uh, as you add more adjectives you pay get in grades that's a normal thing right middle mm-hmm. data analyst senior data analyst principal data analyst will get even more Mm-hmm. right but in general sense if i talk apart from the designation if i just remove data science if i count everything as one right 
uh, starting from data analyst, data engineer, data scientist, ML engineer. If I count all everything as one as working mm -hmm. as a data science mm -hmm. professional, mm -hmm. right? Your minimum would be seven, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I know there are some firms who take advantage of students who are uh, in problem or something. They hire them on contract basis. Yep. Uh, there are people, right, who take advantages and business uh, you know thinking from a business perspective they think they are doing right but mm -hmm. uh, ethically i don't think they're doing right because uh, so that is a different discussion but uh, in general sense you should expect more than seven there is no upper bound you should expect more than seven there is no upper bound yeah obviously if you are just graduating out of college then there would be something less if you're just transitioning from something uh let's say you're transitioning from a steel plant to a data science uh, to, to, to a data analyst and uh, you have 10 years 10 year of experience so then it depends on your maturity that how do you show that tenure of experience, right? Mm -hmm. I've seen people who have, uh, who have, you know, really given me a really good story why they have transitioned. And I've seen people who have just, you know, bluntly said, Ki, okay, I was not enjoying this, so I came in this field. Understood, understood. Have no reason, Ki, okay, I came here because I wanted to, I was invested. This, there can be many reasons, right? Mm -hmm. So that, but so, whatever I'm just at 10, 20% of it. Yep. Exactly. So I have two questions which you have to answer in yes or no. Can a person start with 10 lakh package? Yeah. Okay. And uh, is it really very tough to achieve those numbers? Uh, yes or no only? Yeah. What you will choose. Like, is it really tough to achieve that 10 lakh package? No. That's All right. Tough. Perfect. So I hope that you have answered this question looking at my face, who is a mechanical engineer who have failed three times already. So guys, if I can achieve it, definitely you can. Like he has, he has given me a very realistic answer. All right. So there's nothing, uh, I guess like, you know, you should start taking action from it. All right. <coughs> so how much you can earn as like he said that, you know, we can make more than seven lakh. The worst case scenario is even five, but people are making more than seven lakh. Now the biggest question comes in our mind is like how to find a data analytics job, right? So how how exactly you search job, Subhanket, and how exactly would suggest people to find a data analyst job because they're from non-IT background? So uh, first thing would be, you know, uh, let's say you have prepared a good pro portfolio. You know, mm -hmm. Let's say you have prepared, you have you have done projects, you have a good resume, mm -hmm. right? Let's, let's take those assumptions that those two things are done, mm -hmm. right? Because without them, there's no point of finding a job, right? So mm -hmm. let's say those two things are done. Then the next thing, you know, whatever sites you can see on your screen, right? Mm -hmm. These are just examples, right? So there are many new sites as well, right? Mm -hmm. Indian website, you can see Nokri or Hirest is there or mm -hmm. Hirect is also there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, Indeed it's there. Many, many is there, right? Mm -hmm. And LinkedIn also is there, right? We can see jobs on LinkedIn too. Exactly. Whenever you're uh, com making a portfolio on this site, complete those portfolio, right? I've seen people, they just uh, put their resume, write some little bit of details, and then they just start applying. So just see, you are going as a from, from a data scientist, uh, data science point of view. Just think that that is that is also a uh, platform only, right? Nokri is a platform. Mm -hmm. So if you complete your profile completely, obviously they'll push your uh, uh, you know pro uh, profile. Right? Mm -hmm. If I have more details in it, right? If mm -hmm. I have added more keywords in my profile, mm -hmm. right? Keywords are really important, right? Whatever. For example, in my resume, if I have done a return order project, right? So mm -hmm. I should highlight the keywords in it, right? Because just think, uh, think from a practical perspective, right? And mm -hmm. things will become easy, right? So uh, let's say my, uh, most of the time, my resume is getting screened by a particular HR, right? And HRs are not technical person, right? Mm -hmm. So they are just matching your resume with a job description, mm -hmm. right? UK doesn't match, right? So, mm -hmm. and you know the job description before applying for the role, mm -hmm. right? So why not keep the same keywords in it? Mm -hmm. if you have those technology, they want those keywords. So just keep the same keywords, right? Just so it will be easy for you, right? And they, they work also be like, they also want you, right? It just, uh, mm -hmm. just that you have created a lot of noise in between. Exactly. Exactly. And apply from a lot of platform, right? There is, there should not be a, because sometimes these sites, uh, you know, they, give a late, little late response, right? Because sometimes just want to stack up resumes. Uh, so they, they give the opening, they give the job opening and then they don't give response quickly and don't lose patience. That is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Because you know, sometimes I've seen people thinking you know, I've done my projects, I've prepared my resumes. Now I've just have to put my resume out there and there would be like a 
you know a uh, flow of uh, job uh, job roles for me no it's not like that it will mm-hmm. take time to get to the first role right it mm-hmm. will take time to get to the first role but when it comes it will come in a flow that is for sure understood understood right. understood so guys i want to tell you one thing that when shubankit says that a keyword thing which you are uh, is very important which, which they are looking for they are not so you know uh, the technical person where they can do the analysis by themselves so big companies uh, small companies now everything is becoming very automated and you know this cv thing is something which is very crucial it's equally very much important uh, to the things that you keep on learning in data analysis why because companies use hr use ats applicant tracking system so in that ats if suppose uh, you know the people are thousands of people are applying so for sure uh, not a single person can keep on doing it right shubankit so they have ats and they just see that keyword is coming or not right so that's why it's very much important to make these things organized how it will come for sure shubankit must have learned in his own experience shubankit must have learned from his seniors So definitely we learn from each others right and why shubankit is giving time over so that it can save our time all right so the same thing that we have done in our program so so that we can save your time and give you an idea that why one on one cv linkedin profile preparation is very crucial thing and we will make in such a way so that you can start get calls so we do also provide that career services as well where you can get these things done so that you can only focus on the tools and the things and then rest everything is lying on your way and you can get it done asap and just to give you an idea why it is quickly possible with us because we have more than hundreds of hiring partners as well now guys i guess like uh, you have enjoyed this particular uh, webinar with uh, shubankit but just to tell you we are going towards the q and a session and uh, i am sure everybody have a lot of uh, questions already so i just want to tell you that we have this contest still and after just q and a session i am going to give you the winner name uh, the time definitely like you know uh, you are waiting for all this right so the link is into the chat section keep participating in the contest so that i can choose one lucky winner for this job guarantee badge in a data analytics the link is in the chat section moving ahead so here is the q and a session let me shortlist the questions i'm just i can see hundreds of questions already uh and i'll give 10 second to all the people who haven't registered into the contest go and register meanwhile shubankit you can have a glass of water i will just um choose the question what exactly people have shared all right so i have a bunch of question ready um uh, so question from shripad uh is it truth that the fresher can get a data analyst job with 15 lakh package in my case i am getting an offer as a fresher with the maximum 7 lakh packages any comments shubankit uh it will depend on the college it will depend on a college i mm-hmm. don't think there is any course that can promise that mm-hmm. and uh, no company in its senses would uh, take something like that right so if mm-hmm. you are obviously if you are working for a fang company if you are working for a i'm sorry mang company right mm-hmm. uh, if you are working for amazon something like that google or something like that then mm-hmm. it's possible but yeah. they hire from uh, if they hire fresher they hire from a uh, top institutes you know iits and even from nits if they hire they hire from a uh, computer science background right so mm-hmm. it would be really tough uh, obviously it's possible i've seen people make it but it would be really tough and when you, they say that when they hire freshers 15 lpa and trust me guys i'm from nit right so i have seen this mm-hmm. uh, you know freshers getting a package of 40 lpa 50 lpa oh from God. iit and nit not in the field of data science uh, but i'm just talking about general package but out of that 40 and 50 lpa uh, most of the things are stocks and many other things uh, mm-hmm. right so it's there but uh, it's not something like uh, you get like 4 or 5 lakh rupees per month it's not like that right uh, but whatever the thing is uh, shiva it would be really tough it would be really tough it's possible mm-hmm. but it would be really tough as a fresher if you're getting 7 and if you're thinking that there is no other company that is coming to your college or not or if not you're getting much call then i think you should accept that understood understood thank you so much so guys yes uh, it's it's very much uh, Uh, depends upon your college and also like uh, depends upon our uh, interview as well right because sometimes uh, shubankit i have also seen uh, some of the candidates uh, like we schedule their interviews into which which to the organization which has a capacity to pay 20 lakh or 15 lakh but just because they perform they don't perform that well 
they are only able to fetch 6 lakh or 7 lakh and that's that's fine right all right okay now another question from a sai arjun my concern is with regards to the job openings all company expect candidates to have a 2 3 years of experience of the same domain so being from non it employee who who is it possible to move how is it possible to move in and as a data analyst or a data scientist i uh, have to cover it up right i mean i don't have to lie right uh, obviously like uh, never lie right guys uh, recently accenture fired 16000 employees we have seen in that news right accenture fired 16000 employees based on fake uh, experience right so never lie it will never be in your good books right so uh, the best way to in that case is to do that is to do uh, you know courses which are specifically designed for professionals uh, and which gives you project experiences right mm-hmm. plus they gives you a boost kind of a thing mm-hmm. right for example let's take example of coding invaders right so if mm-hmm. you are a part of coding invaders and you have done the project you have done completed all of your syllabus and if they are pushing your profile to a hiring partner mm-hmm. then the hiring partner knows what things that you have been and in that case you don't have to explain uh, you know your transition to him right he knows much things about you mm-hmm. okay this guy is being transitioned from that phase to that phase so uh, and it will be all on skill basis so that would be like the easy path right mm-hmm. uh, the other thing uh, you know i would say that try to do internship along with your job before going into the actual job right there are a lot of sites that provide virtual internship right so there's one site for us that provides virtual internships mm-hmm. you guys can check that right uh, it's called the forage mm-hmm. right so Provide virtual internship, which you can, uh, where you, which you can present in your resume, right? So things like that. It's just one example. There are the virtual internship sites also. You can do actual internship. That will be really good. You mm-hmm. can work under somebody who's already working as a data scientist, right? If mm-hmm. he's working on a self project, you can work under that. I have some friends who are actually hired some college freshers who are working under them, right? Mm-hmm. So now also experience, and uh, it's also right. The experience thing is also not that strict. It's only strict to the HRs, mm-hmm. right? Once you clear that stage right so the technical person will be taking your interview he'll be fine with that and right? it's only speak to the hr because again they are just matching the digits there you get 2 to 3 of experience zero of experience rejected right so thus you have to just cross that thing you have to just find the right hr right mm-hmm. and in that case you should also look, try to look for startups understood understood thank you so much and uh, another question that hi shubankit i am from bpo background bpo call center something like that okay bpo background uh, but now working as a process advisor in high risk review at barclays can i get a hike on my current salary i mean you should talk to your manager i mean how would i tell that but no, no, no. Uh, he's asking that if he will switch yeah okay. can he get a hike on in yeah. his switch or not uh that i don't think i don't answer, know about that yeah. that was also awesome. talk to your manager i like uh, it I mean, uh, frankly, uh, you know, I would, uh, I don't know about that much profile that much, but uh, like, if you are going from, like, it's in general sense, like, if you have five year experience working in an IIT field, mm-hmm. you're not in a data science, but mm-hmm. let's say working in an IIT field, mm-hmm. like, it's my friends are there who are working in a CRM field, you know, the mm-hmm. same field from which I switched to one year, switched in one year, mm-hmm. right? And now I'm working as a data science analyst, mm-hmm. and they are working in that field. Uh, for four years and mm-hmm. they're working for two years now in that field now mm-hmm. they want to switch so they will mm-hmm. not come here as a data analyst my mm-hmm. and this session that i give them right you should now because you have two year two year experience don't waste that right come here as a senior business analyst right understood understood that will be possible for you because you have worked in uh, crm man- management you know business things mm-hmm. right just learn the skill of data analyst come mm-hmm. here as a senior business analyst right so your path will also require that okay you have been promoted like you have taken senior designations and uh, obviously as more adjectives get added you are obviously you you will get the hike okay got it so i have uh, one last question but not least and i can see the majority of the questions are more about like i'm from a non it and I, how uh, can i get uh, into it of course man there's a big picture of shubankit on the slide he is also from non it so we can definitely do it so i'm avoiding the, that question yeah of just course, uh, i mean just yeah. let me tell you one thing right mm-hmm. so in my batch there were 80 students in uh, nid right there were 80 students mm-hmm. uh, all from metallurgical material science three of them are working in steel industry right three of them were 
are working in steel industry in steel industry around 50 of them are working in it field oh my right? god some are preparing for government job and mm-hmm. uh, those things but 50 are working in a field of it industry all of them are earning out of 10 Wow, that's a right. big so, digit. Like, and don't take it because they were from NIT, right? It's nothing like that. None of them mm-hmm. got placed in the field of data science from NIT. They like got off campus, right? And wow. all of us had a fear, like in second year, third year of our college, mm-hmm. if somebody would ask that, "Ki, how many of want to go in the field of uh, IIT?" Mm-hmm. So none of us raised hand, right? Because mm-hmm. coding, coding, how say, like, how will we learn coding? You know, we don't mm-hmm. know coding. Those things are there. Mm-hmm. So I think that answers a lot of questions. Right, mm-hmm. that it's there. A lot of people, a lot of great data scientists that I work in my day to day work are from non IT field. Hmm, that's great. That's great. So the last uh, question which I was thinking, is <coughs> uh, if transition from different to domain to the this domain, what are the exact challenges? Can you open up? I think the biggest challenge is when you uh, totally uh, ignore your past domain, right? Okay. Because I don't like. Let's say I am a you know recruiter. I don't want someone who is escaping from his current field and coming into a field of data science. Mm-hmm. I want someone who is bringing his field, uh, his knowledge of knowledge of his field, into my industry. Right. That would be my ask, and I that that I tell to every student that I talk to. Right. Don't go in like don't transition into the field of data science. Rather, mm-hmm. include data science as a tool in your own field. Right? and they, every industry is doing data science right so just if you are working in a like in a car manufacturer company try to go into a field of data science data analyst position in a field of uh, i guess mercedes research development had a good resource for uh, mm-hmm. data analyst maruti has a good position for data analyst right mm-hmm. so try to find those uh, roles right it would be best for you because you will not waste your two years and that is a big problem they face right mm-hmm. they because they say ki okay i have been four years working as a data uh, I was four years working in a steel plant, and now I want to come into field of data science. And why? Because obviously, right? If you're mature, you won't see the reason that I want to earn more. Right? Sure. That is the correct reason. That is a like the exact correct reason. But uh, you cannot say that. Right? Mm-hmm. You have to give a proper story, proper reason. Ki, okay, I want to come into field of data science. I saw this application somewhere, mm-hmm. right, in my own industry, and I saw ki, okay, it's being done by data science, and that uh, impacted my uh, decision. Understood. understood all right thank you so much and the last question i am having uh, a year gap but all the experience that i had i was from a different domain so is it really possible and how i will justify uh, and is it possible for me to get into data it will it will be tough or smooth again it will depend on how you justify that year gap right if i say that okay ki i was working i was uh, preparing for government job Mm-hmm. And uh, for one year, so mm-hmm. now what in like what picture it gives to the interview? Mm-hmm. Okay, this guy he was working in a job. He left mm-hmm. his job and he went for a, a you know preparing for government job. He failed there, so he's coming in data science. Uh, it depends right. how we are portraying our time exactly. and yeah. how exactly so, we are justifying the things. Uh, that if if someone that. says like that, right? Well, how what would I think? Okay, this is his second choice, right? Uh, if he would have succeeded in that government exam, right? He would have not applied here, mm-hmm. right? So. You should say something like that, na. In that case, you should give some personal reason. Kya kya? I was sick for one year, you know, mm. or maybe COVID. I had some problem, right? In recent time, you can explain. If you have a year gap around the COVID times, mm. you can easily say that. You know, any reason you can give, any good reasons. And we are all a part of Indian education system, so you can make up crazy good reasons, right? Mm. Ki, you know, anything you can make up, and just be strong with that reason, right? Don't mm. say that you know, preparing for some exam and you failed it there and you came here. It doesn't. Mm. and and also over and above if we are ready with our skill set even the recruiters will more focus on the skill set and yeah, yeah. not like that right yeah. all right then thank you so much shubhankit we are done with all the questions uh, thank you so much for giving us your extended time uh, and really appreciate that and uh, thank you for joining over here would you like to say anything lastly to this audience before going uh my just one thing would be that don't spend much time again searching for a perfect course right i have mm-hmm. seen lot of people who have searched i have myself mm-hmm. uh, been in that phase ki you know mm-hmm. i'm seeing that course and that course and that course and mm-hmm. let's start from one point and start making stuff right i start yeah. doing stuff right and things will get in touch the mm-hmm. other thing would be to focus on two things mm-hmm. 
<coughs> sorry guys uh, focus on two things uh, first one would be uh, create a really good linkedin profile exactly right? create a really really good linkedin profile and write on it mm-hmm. right write technical things on it right it mm-hmm. will not give you the job right? it will not be keep, somebody will read your technical post and mm-hmm. uh, give you the job it will never happen uh, but it bu- builds credibility and it, it will give you more confidence ki, okay 50 or 60 people reacted to my uh, particular technical thing that i wrote it will give you confidence when you speak about those topics right sure. second thing build on storytelling skill data science really needs storytelling skill because you are presenting something to the client right and if you present the right story they'll like it if you present something really aapne bahut complex kuch bana liya let's say mm-hmm. right but uh, you're not able to present it right mm-hmm. you're not able to explain it uh, into to the business people that how will it help them Mm-hmm. and they'll reject it right they will not give you money for it right so data storytelling is really important i have seen people explaining uh, really basic things really well and you know getting a really good appreciation for it i have seen people blowing up a really good projects right just because they cannot explain it how uh, how it can be utilized understood this thing is good just uh, i think uh be with good mentors connect with me on linkedin right uh, and when you give me a connection request just add a message please right uh, that you were in the session so i can you know uh, i can understand know you well right that uh, kyunki you were in this session uh yeah and just stay in touch with your mentors and uh, like mentors is mentorship really important right because mentors will tell you that at what point you are ready mm-hmm. because you know sometimes the courses out there are some courses out there which tells you that you will become a data scientist in they they have terms in it ki specialized course yeah but it's just a four week course mm-hmm. how you can become a specialized data scientist but if i am a student i am doing that course so that will mm-hmm. you know give me that sort of confidence so mm-hmm. your mentor will tell you that at what point you are ready right so it's really important to have good mentors and i am re- i'm really uh, uh, fortunate to have good mentors in my life mm-hmm. and uh, currently i'm mentoring some students too right so uh, i think that chain continues right so that's keep studying and always keep learning even when you become a data analyst right mm-hmm. keep learning uh, because that's a part data analyst will not be something that you are equipped with that sort of skills and you will be a data analyst for 2 3 years it will not happen you'll have to keep learning exactly <laughs> that, that's all from my side is Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much Shubankit for joining over here. We really enjoyed this particular session. I hope to see you soon again in our next webinar for sure because yeah. the audience really enjoyed you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right guys, so I hope that you have enjoyed this particular session with Shubankit and I'm sure that uh, you have got so much of learning because I genuinely like the fact the way he explained everything from uh, the basic definition to the advanced one everything whatever the things he has explained it was so awesome. All right. Now it's a time to understand the who is the winner and lot other things and how we can solve all the problem uh so that you know we can also become a high paying data analyst like shubankit right so let's get uh, to understand what exactly um, you know what exactly we have to do now all right so how exactly we can help you to reach your goals so you can reach your goals because if you are having a good mentors as shubankit said and uh, you will be having one on one personal mentorship for sure you will be having exclusive exclusive career packages i know everybody is doing a lot of research but still they are getting confused so as shubankit really said that you know take one step go understand see the things verify the things and then take a step okay so it's very much important to see what exactly you are getting do research at least take initiative start verifying and then you will get it i'm not asking just do this i'm just saying that start taking steps you will get an idea what to do what not to do and why it is getting possible all right as i said the why i am highlighting one on one personal mentorship in coding in winners again and again because in one on one you i personally ask most serious question when i am on one on one and i feel more comfortable and i feel what exactly and where exactly i am standing in i get a reality check when i am getting a one on one mentorship and it makes me comfortable to understand everything from scratch to advanced level because if i am sitting in a classroom i hesitate to ask those questions right so it's very much important to have a one on one personal mentorship and these are the mentors basically who have actually helping our students to learn other things all right if i'll talk about the whole facilities in a coding invaders then we do have an extra practical sessions that we do we have seven days per week across in a chat and we have unlimited one on one video call with the mentors 
that's a unique thing that we did because everybody who's a working professional who comes at a 7 pm 8 pm they can at least if they want to they missed any classes and they have some doubt and they wanted to interact with the mentors they can do one on one video call and that's like unlimited which is something really amazing yes for the people who wanted to join the live sessions we do two live sessions per week if you will miss you'll get the recorded one and also we do a group webinars in the evening and the weekends as well and we bring the industrial experts so that you should get to know and get an update that what exactly is happening in a data industry and where i'm standing and how much i need to work and how you can build the relationship with them on a linkedin and that's how you will grow okay so keeping you updated is the real game over here all right because the competition is not though so much but still building a relationship getting a referrals and understanding and uh, reaching towards them by right skill set you will definitely going to get that things done here is an example of one of our student he is a fresher got a good placement all right he is a fresher all right he is a fresher he got a good placement if he can why not you all right study format as i said that it's a group projects modules on lms lms is like learning management system so you will be having a modules on lms examinations interactive webinars interactive means you have to answer you cannot just sit silent q and a sessions group projects career webinars master class from industry experts so these are the things that we do so that you are stay it should be value for money and you are up to date all right as i said i have already helped more than 200 plus people to find a data analytics job no need to worry about chasing for 10 20 tools only these tools are required to get into it rest you are smart enough to grow further don't think about all this key this thing is giving me 20 tools this thing giving me 25 tools no did you observe one thing that shubankit said that you have to start from data analyst only and these are the only basic tools required all right so learn this tools get into this data analyst role rest you are smart enough you will learn by yourself and you will grow by yourself you don't need any additional tools learning or a courses for that you only need to work on those things which is only required to get into this job the rest you will grow by yourself not a big deal all right so now it's the time to announce the winner guys are you excited just give me a thumbs up if you are excited and you waited long for it but i also want some motivation that did you genuinely enjoyed this particular webinar did i asked all those question which you always wanted to ask and did you got the better clarity just give me your feedback in the chat section so that i can see and i also want to say that the link is in the chat section that who haven't registered in this particular contest please go click in the chat section register because i am going to choose the winner right now all right and in front of you so i can see that people are saying yes amazing session yes thumbs up thank you so much guys thank you so much it it motivates me it motivates me a lot thank you kanchana thank you fazal thank you samir tambe thank you akash sha thank you so much guys so i'll keep on bringing a uh, such guest for sure and if you have an amazing guest in your mind you can text me on linkedin as well i'll bring an amazing guest for you all like him so that we can have a uh, amazing sessions again and again all right so thank you so much guys so i am giving 10 20 seconds to all of you to go click on the link that is given in the chat section so that i can everybody can participate in the contest and i am going to share my screen so that i can choose the lucky winner who can win this job guarantee program which promises job guarantee in agreement in return and that to for free all right so let me check that uh, how many people have registered i am just refreshing my screen i can see um, more than 150 people have participated the numbers are still counting so i'm waiting for 10 20 second guys go fatafat and go register so that i can announce the winner thank you so much sanjeev it was really good session thank you so much mahendra thank you so much kanchana gained more knowledge thank you for this wonderful session you're most welcome we are coding invaders we will keep on bringing such amazing sessions again and again stay in touch with us keep stay in touch with us so that you can have a better research and idea and you can take a better decision with us all right we would love to be the part of your career all right so i'm going to announce the winner now i have given 10 20 seconds now i'm sure everybody must be saying that when i'll going to announce so i'm just checking my excel sheet that 
still numbers are increasing that's why i'm i just don't want to lose anybody so that's why i'm saying that quickly register everybody so now i'm going to share my screen all right all right so i'm just sharing my screen um guys so i can see that these are the sheet you know guys the sheet that you are observing this is a data you know and we can play with this data with multiple patterns and understand everything you know this chunk of data that's what shubankit was talking about so they play with the data like this they make a beautiful visual with the data like this they can show that how many people have registered how many people are more interested into free webinars how many people are more interested into uh you know uh, getting the courses how many people are experienced how many people are freshers all right so i have seen that total 182 people have registered all right so let's announce the winner i'll choose the random one 182 i'm locking at 182 so this website i used to choose the random uh that one person randomly so i'll 186 right i'll just check again sorry not 182 it's 182 let me refresh again one eighty two done let's see who is the winner one two three let's go fifty four fifty four is the winner for this premium course guess who is this let's see who is fifty four let me scroll the sheet and see and announce the winner now so i can see I'm intentionally scrolling so that everybody could be seeing that. Oh, where's the screen? I cannot see that. I cannot see that. Fifty-four is Sai Sumanth. Sai Sumanth, you are the winner. Your email ID is Sai Sumanth Chaudhary at the rate gmail dot com. Congratulations, Sai Sumanth. You won the premium course of Coding Invaders, which promises job guarantee and data analytics. Sai Sumanth is the winner of today's webinar. for this data analytics course that to for free but guys i have also something to share to all the people who haven't won let me just update my ppt on the screen and i'll show you what is still i have for the people who haven't won yet all right so uh, yep yeah. congratulations sai congratulations sai your uh, our counselor will reach out to you and he will enroll you for a job guarantee batch for sure so is he there or not i guess he is not there he already left <laughs> all right he already left i guess i cannot see him uh okay no worries so what exactly i have uh, left over here so huge chunk of people have left the webinar we was thinking they didn't they didn't got the names so So now I'm going to tell you the fees structures and EMI so that you can have a better clarity. So we do have an EMI program as well. Whoever was thinking that you know whether you will be able to pay it or not, so we have that uh, you know uh, uh, EMI programs uh, which doesn't charge any interest. We pay interest for you, and there's no opening fees or there's no interest involved in that. And we have a cool and clear EMI program, especially for the people like you who feel that you have a little challenges, so you can distribute it in a monthly basis. That's not a problem. all right one additional benefit that we are providing over here is if you have a good bunch of friends and if you still wanted to reduce your fees you can refer your friend both of your friend will get 5 5000 rupees discount so if you will refer two friend so your two your both two friend will also get 5 5 each 5 5000 each discount yeah. as well as you will get 10000 discount right so the more you will refer the more cost of the course will reduce and you can even make the cost to zero as well you can see i have texted in the chat section how you can use this refer link refer maximum friends enroll together in the cheapest possible way the more you will uh, share the more you will learn the more you will grow all right moving ahead that's it thank you for this particular you know webinar and thank you for joining over here i'm really very helpful that uh, you know thankful that you know everybody was quite very much interactive over here and they enjoyed 
and they had a lot of questions and i hope uh, that you had a beautiful uh, time uh, with coding invaders and i hope you had an amazing experience with the expert who have answered everything we will keep on bringing such beautiful session for you all stay tuned with us go register and we will reach out to you and counselor will reach out to you to explain you in a much better way all right have a nice weekend start taking massive actions in your life have a nice day